everyone in Japan feels excited at Matsuri, or festival time. Let's try a cool Matsuri costume to enjoy the special day even more. Let's be a Matsuri master! There are various styles of Matsuri costumes. Here you see some of the major Matsuri costumes. This Edo style is one of the standard Matsuri costumes. It was originally used as a carpenter's uniform in the Edo period. In the hot and sticky Japanese summer, the loose-fitting dabo, shirt and pants are very comfortable. Handako is a special Matsuri costume for carrying a mikoshi, or portable shrine. Looking good! Koikuchi shirts are very fashionable. The slightly exposed striking design gives a sophisticated touch. Getting a tight-fitting size is the key to looking stylish. For a loose-fitting style, we recommend a dabo shirt. Momohiki are close-fitting festival trousers and should be above ankle length. Hold it like this. Insert each leg separately into the legs of a pair of momohiki. Bring the right strap around the back. Insert your right hand into the slit between the legs. Hold the string with the right hand. Holding the string, pull your right hand out from the slit. Then bring the other string around the back. Tie the straps at the front to complete. It's very easy to take off momohiki. Just pull them down, turning them inside out. A haragake costume is a must for a matsuri. Combine it with a koikuchi shirt. A tight-fitting neckline is the key to looking stylish. Choose a smaller size than your usual size. Put your head through the loop at the top of the haragake. Slip your right arm, then left arm, through the shoulder straps. Make sure the straps are not twisted. Bring the right and left waist straps to the back and cross them. Then, bring them to the front. Lift the apron up and tie the straps together in front of the belly button. Let the apron down to complete. The obi for Matsuri costumes can be divided broadly into two types. One is the smart and chic looking kaku obi. The other one is the stylish and eye-catching maki obi. Choose the color in contrast with the color of the hop beat. Here is how to tie the kaku obi. Fold the 20 to 30 centimeter length of the obi in half and wrap it around the waist two or three times. Adjust the length to leave about 30 centimeters from the end of the obi. Firmly tie both ends of the obi. Fold the top edge over like this and pull the other through the loop. Finally, adjust the shape and rotate it clockwise to move the knot on your back. Now, let's try the Maki Obi. The Maki Obi is very popular with both men and women because it's simpler than the Kaku Obi. Fix the waist strap to enable easy tying. 
leaving 30 centimeters on one side of the obi, cross both ends in the center. Twist once and pull the shorter end of the obi that you have just wrapped. Wrap the longer side around the waist. Tuck the remaining end into the obi. Wind the other end vertically around the wrapped obi twice. Then, adjust the shape. Now it's done! Feet set the tone for the entire outfit. Now, let's see the footwear. A pair of chikatabi is best for walking. Choose a color that matches the momohiki. One size bigger than usual is best. Sit down like this with one foot on your thigh. Hook metal clasps called kohaze into looped threads from the bottom up. Short jikatabi should be covered by the hem of the momohiki. Long jikatabi should cover the hem of the momohiki. To look more stylish in Matsuri costumes, wear a pair of setta. A pair of okatabi is suitable to wear with setta. Wear a slightly smaller size, otherwise they can slip off. To look stylish, wear setta in a small size. If you want to look authentic, you must try a pair of waraji. Waraji are only available in one size. It's okay if your toes hang out over the sole. Pass the two lower loops through the loops on the sides of the sole. Pass the long straps through the upper loops on the sides and crisscross them. Then pass those straps through the lower loops. Does it look like this? First, put on the white waraji gake tabi, then the waraji. Wrap the longer strap over the top of the foot and pass it through the gap between the heel and waraji. Put the other strap through, making an arc like this. Pass the two strings together through the arc and tightly pull up. Then tie a knot. Finally, cut off any unnecessary length. Now try smart accessories to perfect your new look. Let's see how to use a bandana called a tenugui to make a hachimaki. Kuwagata kaburi is often used by ladies. Fold the tenugui to be narrower and iron in a crease. Crisscross both ends to make a loop. Fold both ends to the end side of the loop and align the edges. Hold the edges with hairpins and place it on the head. Now, let's turn on the style with Kenka Kaburi. Cover your head with the Tenugui. Place the middle of the Tenugui in the center of your forehead to make both ends the same length. Twist both ends in a frontward direction. After tightly twisting them, tie a knot on the back. Tuck the edge underneath.
By washing them properly, the indigo items provide a nice, worn look as they get older because of the distinctive texture. Put only indigo items into the washing machine. The color is likely to run and stain other clothes. Repeat the washing and rinsing twice without using detergent. Dry in the shade after spin drying. If you have an indigo hoppy, do not wash it for two to three years after purchase. As you can see, if you know how to wear a Matsuri costume, the Matsuri can be much more fun. Let's have fun at the Matsuri!